put an arrow into a really big stag. Um, he's headed off down this gully here. Don't know how far. Bo did an awesome job tracking and pointed him. And for all you haters out there, this one was shot at 20 metres. For all you long distance haters, that is. So uh, I'm really fortunate, Kathy and her son Mark are here. I've um, just called them on the radio. So they're bringing a couple of extra packs. I'm just about to head down here and uh, see if we can find him. So. Oh, look at this. We've got really good blood here. Really good blood. Blood is within five metres of where we shot him. So. It shouldn't be too hard to find, I hope. Pretty lucky here, the bush is quite open. However, four damaged ligaments in the ankle, it want to be. Oh, still really good blood here. That is so fortunate that it's open. Bo's headed off down the hill. Yep, still got blood on the trees here. Looks like he's headed straight down. You can see his prints here. Yep, still got blood. Have you found him, Boat? Where is he? Where is he? Good dog, Bo. Good dog. That is awesome. He's gone. Maybe 100 metres. And that's the first blood for the iron well. Oh, wow. That is sensational. Oh, unbelievable. Wow. Oh, bye. Good boy. Good boy. Well, Bo has done a fantastic job finding the stag, pointing him, and then tracking him. Oh no. Okay, we're at an undisclosed location in the Victorian high country. Pretty specky location actually. Got here a couple of days ago. Set up camp, found sign everywhere we looked and headed out early this morning. I was on the job straight away with a the scent. There was scent everywhere actually. And um, after about a K, K and a half from camp, Bo's come charging back with that I know where there's a deer look on his face. And got the bow off the pack and my new off the base holder. And knocked an arrow, came around the bush, followed Bo, and he's on point with this bloke. They're probably about five metres apart, and I was probably about 10, 15 metres behind Bo, so remember to turn the head cam on. And um, this guy was facing me, but his, his vision of me was obstructed by a tree, which was pretty handy. And he's just only presenting a chest on shot. So um, I've taken the shot just, just where the base of the neck meets the body. Uh, good solid hit at that range. <coughs> First chance to try out the uh, iron wall broadheads. You can't see it here, but that broadhead's gone in the chest and exited out his rear rump. So it's gone full length penetration of the animal. And he's come charging down this hill, but probably only he died just up there, he rolled a little bit further as we were trying to take a photo. And um, yeah, he's probably made it 100 metres, I think. Bo's tracked him down pretty quick. This is actually looks like one of his beds here. And uh, it's going to be the last place that he rests, of course. Really lucky that Kathy and um, her son Mark are here, so I've called them on the radio. They're bringing a couple of extra packs, and we'll be able to cake this guy out and then uh, get the meat out. Be a bit easier dividing it by three instead of one. So uh, we've got a bit of a job ahead of us. So we better get onto it. 
Now this guy is pretty wide. My arrow is at 27 inches. And that'll give you an indication of what he's at. Here comes the cavalry, just in time. I just randomly killed this deer on the way here. Oh, where'd you find that? I'm just a hunter. <laughs> awesome. I wonder if it's one of his. Was it on the track? It just called me Hunter Norton. Where was it? On the track. This is just the way I roll. <laughs> Hold it up. Very, very Cut cool. It with bare hands. <laughs> Ripped it off. Ripped it off the deer's head. The cavalry has arrived. Hey, the backup, the backup crew. And we're going to need them. Okay. And we're going to need them. Show me your cast. Oh you hold God. it up. Look how steep that is. Hold it up. <laughs> yeah, killed it. Ankle rehab, Simon Gillett style. How you going there, troops? We made it back, meat's yep. in the fridge, heads on the back seat keeping cool with the aircon on. And now Simon can no longer say, Gypsy, you've got to carry a deer out of the bush because I just did. You've eaten 10. <laughs> I mean, I'm in half a one. credit. Yeah, you're in way, way in deficit. <laughs> you got to carry about yeah. another five. In no, no, I'm, I'm done. My deer days are over. No, 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 just <laughs> yeah, I'm retiring. And Bo, how are you going? He's are you retired, right. puppy? He's ready for breakfast. More breakfast. Alright, I need a shower.